Hello, this is Pastor John with my weekly update for all of you today. Well, Memorial Day weekend is upon us. Can you believe it? Where is the time gone? Yet, regardless of whether you're having a small barbecue with your family at a park or simply hanging out at home, let me encourage you to take time to offer a prayer of thanksgiving for the many men and women who gave their lives while serving in our U.S. military. We are able to enjoy the freedoms we experience today because of their sacrifice for us and for our marvelous country. However, as you do that, also pause and give thanks to God who sacrificed the life of His Son, Jesus, so that we might enjoy freedom from sin, death, and the accusing power of the devil. This weekend, we will be encouraged by Pastor Harris as he shares God's word with us about our Lord's ascension back into heaven, where he received his crown of victory. The good news is that while Jesus may have left earth, he never left us, his people. From his heavenly throne, he continues to guide and bless us and all true believers, and that is a message worth sharing. Once again, our traditional and contemporary services will be available for viewing beginning this Saturday at 5.30 p.m. And don't forget to fill out the online digital connection card before or after worship. As I mentioned last week, we are also launching a small group initiative to help us stay connected and build community during this time of social distancing. So as you fill out the online digital connection card, there's a section called I'd Like More Information About. Check the Joining a Small Group box and someone will contact you in the coming weeks. As an ambassador for Christ, you are called to be His hands and feet, revealing the heart of Christ through your actions. Your ongoing support of the food pantry in partnership with the City of North Royalton is greatly appreciated. In fact, you have set an example that has encouraged others to join in this journey worth walking. We are receiving all kinds of support now from civic organizations, other local churches, residents from North Royalton and other communities, as well as the Cleveland Food Bank. So thank you. Thank you for walking alongside us. Thank you for helping to lead the way. This time of the year, we also joyfully celebrate our high school and college seniors. And on the weekend of June 6th and 7th, we will lift them up during our worship services as we celebrate this milestone in their lives. So parents, if you haven't done so yet, please remember to submit your child's senior picture by Thursday, May 28th, so that we can include them in a special video message. Upload your photo using the link provided on our resource page or by clicking on the link in my digital letter to you. In closing, let me share this truth worth holding, a truth found in Ephesians 1 verse 17 where it says, I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. As Paul prayed for the Ephesians, I continue to pray that you may know God more fully. Please pray for each other's brothers and sisters in Christ, asking that God will grant each of us the spirit of wisdom and revelation as we continue to be challenged during this difficult time. In closing, some of you have been asking, when are we resuming on-site worship? Over the course of the next couple of weeks, you will receive our phased re-entry plan. We will be sending this out to you either via email or ground mail for those of you who have indicated that preference. Once available, it will also be located on our website, but this re-entry plan will outline various stages that we will need to work through before normal operations can safely resume. As always, continue to check your email, Facebook, and our website for updates. May God watch over each and every one of you and keep you and your loved ones safe and in good health.